Why, hi there. I'm Ron Juckett, and this is a DotCast special this 16th day of March 2018. Remember, no one really wants to drink green beer tomorrow, okay? All right, with that in mind, uh, the Nationals made a surprise signing after their 4-2 win today over the St. Louis Cardinals by signing Jeremy Hellickson, a starting pitcher, to a minor league deal. Uh, it is a non-roster invitee contract. Um, presumably, he will now be in the running with A.J. Cole, Eric Fetty, Tommy Malone, and Edwin Jackson for that fifth starter position. I'm not sure of any of the specifics or the opt-outs. Uh, if if they do decide to go with Hellickson, he clearly will not be ready f- to start the regular season. So I'm just putting out, you know, my first thought is, as it focuses again, um, that this is more of an insurance policy signing for either Cole or Fetty rather than a direct competition. But Washington feels uncomfortable with the options they have now. I mean, they had four in camp, and they went out and signed another starter. Uh, Eric Fetty, if you did not watch today on Masson, pitched, or Friday, if you're seeing this on the website, uh, pitched a whale of a game. He almost threw four innings, lots of movement on his pitches, a rather ambitious radar gun at the stadium had him hitting 97, 98, probably more like 95, but still, you know, this was the best I've seen Fetty look and Fetty pitched well in his appearances last year, but, but this really took the cake. Cole has struggled a bit. In his starts, but he's a fifth starter. So I'm not necessarily concerned about that. But again, he's not tripping the light fantastic out there. He's kind of hit his ceiling. He really is, in all honesty, he's a quad A pitcher. But because the Nats are kind of financially bound, obviously they did they were glad they didn't take Jake Jake Arietta. I was surprised they didn't offer the more than the one year $12 million that Lance Lynn got from the twins. And Alex Cobb not only cost them a draft pick, but a million dollars in international draft money or international signing money that they really don't want to do. So, again, this is your typical late season or late, late surprising Mike Rizzo move. And of course, Helixson is a Scott Boris client. So now Boris has four potential starters in the rotation. Going to make those contract negotiations rather easy. Boom, 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 boom. Um, We'll see what Helixson has. Last year was not very good for him. He's going to have some things to prove. Um, but again, it gives the Nats some insurance. Whether or not they use that insurance out of the gate and see what Cole and Fetty can do down in Syracuse, even though I'm really not sure what if Cole has any options left after going into this year. Um, you know, if this is more of a move to see what, fit, uh, what they can do down there or whether or not The job still remains Coles, and Helixson is there so Fetty can just relax and work throughout April and May down or up in Syracuse before coming to the rotation. Remember, Joe Ross may come back as early as July. And also, you know, the Nats have kept their powder dry as well as far as, as Major League money is concerned. So they can go out at the deadline and get somebody if they feel the need to get to add to that rotation for the playoffs. So Jeremy Hellickson is now a member of the Washington Nationals. Uh, I suppose there's physicals that need to be passed and all that, and you can probably expect him on the mound at least next week. He's probably only going to get one, maybe two starts before opening day. So I'm really not quite sure what the Nats are hoping to do with such a late signing. And this is what we were concerned with if they went out and got a free agent or two um, was when they got into camp. Uh, If I'm A.J. Cole, I'm not resting real easily tonight. If I'm Eric Fetty, I think I pretty much know I'm starting the season in Syracuse at this point. And uh, despite a good start from Tommy Malone early in the spring, they kind of caught up to him, and Edwin Jackson uh, just is minor league fodder. Real quick, I'll see if anyone says anything in the chat. And uh, Judo Joker says that, yes, this is a classic Mike Rizzo move, and I agree. 
and again, under the radar, no one suspected this coming at all. We never did anything um, regarding Helixson as a possible uh, signing or, or whatever. So Mike Rizzo outsmarts us all again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Um, the, dis the website is districtondeck.com. So this will be posted on District on Deck districtondeck.com. Follow us on Twitter at District on Deck and give us a like on Facebook. For the staff of District on Deck, I'm Ron Chuckett. Have yourselves a good Friday night. Hope your brackets aren't but too busted. <laughs>